again. Okay. Anyway, Opro versus Bullfrog. Let's see what character yeah. Bullfrog is using. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Oh, he's okay. I, I think he's just kind of picking a new character each time. Yeah, he's trying him out. He doesn't really mm -hmm. know exactly. He wanted to play 2D at first, uh, but 2D requires a lot of practice to get used to cancels and gotcha and stuff like that. Yeah, I think not... I think he was going Jack first, but I think that was just like as a I think I can pick this character up in a day kind of yeah. deal. Yeah. Oh, I mean, J Jack's a pretty simple character. He's got some hard inputs, I guess, but his Go basic game, stuff. Is pretty simple. His combos are a little unorthodox. Gotcha. So, Paul is an easier ca character. He's just like Death Fist yeah. and Demo Man. <laughs> Both do insane damage. Oh. Yeah. Um. Next match, yeah? I'm not sure. Nick Pause. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think he's back. All right. We're good. Okay. All right, I guess they're just going. <laughs> sure, whatever. I, this doesn't look like a match that's going to go to time anyways <laughs> with the way they're running at each other, so. It's going to be a very mash heavy. Try to see who can get what. Locking is for scrubs. <laughs> exactly. And right. okay, Paul's in rage. Obra is about a single tap away. Yep. There oh my gosh. That's I didn't think that was kill. That was a whole lot of damage. Yeah. I think Paul's one of the few characters in the game that actually can death combo you. Oh my gosh. Does counter hit do more damage in this game or just change properties? It just changes properties. Okay. Oh, so that always does like, that much damage. Some of the things, the property changes, like, this now combos. Mm-hmm. What was safe on, uh, what was just neutral and safe on block is now combo. Yup. Don't get counter hit. That's... That's uh, Paul's mix-up. Death fast. Death fast to get you to de uh, to stand up because it's a mid, and then demo man if you decide to crouch. Hmm. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Ooh, yeah. Drops the juggle combo. I guess not too surprising with the character familiarity on display here. What's funny is Kazumi yeah. has her own death death fist with wall running too. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Yeah, Obra just wakes up. Spins out right. the low kick. Fight. So, what exactly does the tiger do? Is just another hit to the moon? Yeah, most of the time it's just a uh, an extra added effect. Okay. You can sort control. of like a hit grab animation type deal. Yeah. There gotcha. are right. specific special moves where she can send her tiger out as a ranged attack. She does have one. Okay. And she has a command grab that uses the tiger. Ooh, yeah, there's that, uh, that's the Death Fist, right? Yeah, yeah, that's her death, running Death Fist. And then, yeah, and then she can, uh, Rekka into a Tiger special. Okay. Are the Tigers hittable? No. Okay. So you can punch okay. bears, but you can't punch Tigers. Yeah, that's the what? crazy about, about, about Kazumi. <laughs> it counts as, like, a projectile while not really doing it. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You know, with the Bears Marshall uh, Art ooh. artist trained by uh, Hachi. <laughs> Man, yeah. Obro pulled it all the way back. Uh, reverse 3-0 the... on rounds, anyways. He played the Kazumi game. You just run up, uh, throw a few pokes, back off, see what they do. Mm -hmm. What all Kazumis try to do. All right, so place your bets. Who is Ballfrog playing? Mm. Not Paul. Bear. I think he would do well with Steve. I think he might go Jack 7 again. Yeah. That's going to be my bet. I don't think we're actually betting anything. <laughs> well, what's your bet? <laughs> I'll, I'll bet like one Reddit card. Second. I don't think Jack 7 will go back to a TD character. Kuma. Yeah. I think Kuma just fireball out. Worth a shot. I'm not yeah. very sure on uh, Balfrog's playstyle quite yet. I and mean, he mm -hmm. plays very. He likes the neutral game, from what I can yeah, tell. He likes neutral game. He likes big buttons. 
Mm -hmm. but he plays a lot the of way like, that he normally does those i don't think translates to tekken super clearly um, maybe a character with a lot of uh, homing strikes or homing attacks gotcha so, haha i win the zero dollar and zero cents but <laughs> <laughs> so jack seven uh you're saying earlier that his like main thing is that his arms are massive so he hits from a uh, decent ways away right yeah, he's a defensive character. He has slow buttons, but his buttons are his normal buttons are bigger than most, so he's got good range. Okay. Uh, and he's got a very unorthodox poke, a low poke with his down back one. Is that the like a, jackhammer looking thing? Yeah, he like does a little like uh, fist punch with a gun sound at your. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And most of the time, lows are like kicks and stuff, so you really, it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. Gotcha. That's why he's really good at low poking. And his down forward too, which is like a launch for most people. Isn't it also like, it's, since an explosion, isn't it like not so parryable? Oh, uh, you can't, like, you can't parry his charge up explosion with that. Yeah, it's like... If he charges up, you can't parry, but if he does the normal attack, you can parry it. Okay, okay. okay. So it's oh, a risk. There's the jab jailing that you were talking about. You can just crouch those though, right? Yeah, those are highs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it looks like he's mixing up the high are, mids. I was thinking like ten frame jabs are all high, correct? Yeah, it's to keep you from endlessly pressuring. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, nice. Oh, I didn't couldn't follow it up. Oh wow, just dash up launcher. <laughs> yeah, no, and down the that down forward two launcher is safe on block, so you can just throw it out. Oh, it, wow. What? Yeah, those are like minus nine or minus eight. Okay, so your turn's still over, down. but it's safe. Yeah. Oh, I guess your turn's over, barring evasion. Oh. Yeah. And you can, so you could throw out like a, a jab and then down forward to the launch, and you're still mm -hmm. safe, and then you just back off. It's a great whip punish tool. Yeah, he's got to really play safe here. Take his turn. Yeah, Obro's is. Like, he's blocking well. He's managing to stay blocking even after some of the evasive stuff, but he's just kind of having to nickel and dime him. And yeah, that's the risk is you get get opened once. Ooh, but okay. Oh, he manages to just blow. barely clutch it out. Nice. Yeah, Bumpfrog's really trying to catch him with the long range normals. Mm -hmm. trying to him. Yeah, he's trying to. If Bobo really picks his buttons, then he can get in. Yeah, that, like, good. the dashing, like, shoulder charge thing there seems to have been the answer that Obero's found so far. And, uh, Balfrog is now on tournament... Yeah, tournament round. If he loses this, uh, that will be the end of the tournament for him. Yeah. Said so if he wins, he gets one more shot to take down Obero. Yeah, so he's, just, he's doing a, um, Kazumi has a few moves that high crush, actually. And I think that's what he's using to stuff out his jabs. Okay. Oh, the water <laughs> ducking. Yep. Wall oh, combo. Uh, okay, probably couldn't ducking. get something because the angle, right? Yeah. That's kind of like a sidewall situation. Yeah. Ah, oh, got him with oh. a down forward one. Mm-hmm. All right, so Ballfrog fights to, or lives to fight again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Walt, so Jack getting seven, stuck on the... Getting stuck on the wall is rough in this game. Mm -hmm. Cause you can't use your movement options, and you yeah, and movement's really such good. an important part of how this yeah. game works. Okay, yeah, so right, go ahead. There's some things in this game that can you can string and Rekka into, and people unless you can sidestep it or backdash, you can't get out of it. <laughs> so it's a really hard call. Some people have really good pressure tools like that. Gotcha. Okay, well, game three here, Ballfrog and Obro. This one's for, I mean, for each of them, this is for the tournament. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think either of them have, like, the record to make it out of round robin into grand finals. I'm pretty sure that's going to be you two again, actually. <laughs> but, yeah. so this is kind of their last stand each. Each of them, I'm okay. sure, want to go out on a win. And Obro has been so close. In this both, game, like, both times. 
And what's great about this game, though, is that you don't really need huge damaging combos and stuff. Like, you could do that to optimize, but for the most part, if you play good fundamentals with pokes and lows, you really don't need anything else. It's just all, like, on reads and what you're able to get away with. Sure. And just probably better, like, you know, having a good launch combo is good, but just get a safe launch combo that you can just do. Yeah, reliable optimizing. over optimal is always the way to go. Yeah, if you get the 50%, that's, you know, if you get 50% the most you really need out of it. Yeah, I mean, in this, in, you, you can optimize your gameplay to do more and more based off, like, what you can do. Yeah, that's one of the things I think I did wrong in I was going for the hard combo rather than just hitting auto combo and getting good damage. Mm hmm yeah. It can be hard to look at someone's health bar and be like, yeah, but I could get rid of more of it, <laughs> and then just not. <laughs> yeah. No, but this game really doesn't punish you for just playing safe and poking out and using your movement. Like, uh, some, one of the best players in the world, uh, all he does is use, like, two or three buttons, and they're all safe buttons, but they all give him a good mix-up and, like, safe play. Gotcha, sure. So you don't need anything crazy to actually win. Ooh. Yeah, I caught like, the movement with that launcher. Like, the late hit of the launcher, too. Like, yeah. characters have a ton of moves, so there's a lot of experimentation things, like, these moves that you want to use in your playstyle. Mm-hmm. Right. Some things, like their jabs and the launchers, are going to be fairly universal, but some of the sort of low stuff you want to choose can be different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, that's armored. Big kick. Yeah, das boot. <laughs> Stop him out. Yeah. So is Ballfrog crouching right before that hit that leads into the tiger? Is that sort of, or is that what's happening? Because it looks like he's blocking up until then. I think he's uh, trying to block. He's trying to fuzzy guard. So he's trying to block higher than low right away. Ah, uh, okay, okay. He gets hit by any mids. Ah, mm -hmm. caught him with the, see, like, Oprah was blocking high there, and then he ducked, and then got launched. Yup. I'm sure it can be hard not to do that, especially if you're, like, used to 2D games. <laughs> you're like, okay, I've blocked yeah. the single overhead, let me down back. <laughs> <laughs> what a trade. That's why I got to remember this game, so you can't just down back universally, and no one really jumps. <laughs> mm-hmm. Except Ooh, for big damage. Players. Oh, couldn't quite convert yeah. it. Ooh. Oh, Bro has to make sure he doesn't get tagged here. Okay, yeah, he does Hilarious. manage to clean it up. That was super scary, though. Yeah. Fight. Oh, uh, one thing. Or, sorry, go ahead. Ray does really change how you play in the last final health because Ray Drive has armor. Ray Drives have armor, so they can armor through little tiny folks and stuff. Mm hmm. Oh, it's Rage Arts that have armor. Yeah, Rage Arts is. Rage Drives, though, are safe, safe damaging moves. Okay. Uh, also, something I'm noticing here is, uh, so Chari likes to do a lot of tick throws. Um, that's something I've definitely noticed in the matches earlier. And as far as just, like, a standard, really strong mix-up option, uh, I'm used to those being a pretty regular go-to. I haven't seen either of these players use them very much. Is that, like, character-specific more in this game, or um, is that just... are reactable. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, you typically want to do your tick throws in the middle of a string that you can cancel early. And not... Noctis has one of the longer strings in the game, so if you have a good game, so game three, five. round five, half and less health. Spacing oh. out. Oh, is this gonna oh, kill? How much damage five. does this do? No, it's gonna be barely. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it just wakes up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> one of the reasons I was going for love, Hick throws out the uh, like his dagger. No, Jagged Strings, like, once I get past the third hit, my only option is to use anything which I can get punished for, or try dropping mm -hmm. it early. Gotcha.